Mrs. Sheila Gupta is going to be a grandmother again. No, it's not her daughter Deepika who's expecting. She doesn't need to be told about spacing. It isn't her son Rahul either. Rahul is wedded to his career. Could it be Kamla then? The girl who's almost a part of her family now? Well, thankfully no. Kamla is still in her teens, attends adult literacy classes and is still single. It's Parbuti. Parbuti who is going to bless her with a grandchild. Mrs. Gupta has never met her before. But Parbuti has been thanking her every day with her heart and soul for the past six months. What is the strange bond Mrs. Gupta and Parbuti share? How did it come about? Well, it all started a little after undernourished, overworked Parbuti discovered that she was pregnant. And Romula, a health worker from Sini, heard about it. This was Parbuti's third pregnancy. She had already suffered a miscarriage once and given birth to a stillborn another time. Romula was horrified when she examined Parbuti. She was anemic to start with. Her pressure was low and her weight no more than 35 to 40 kilos. How could she ever hope to bring a healthy child into the world? What might happen to her, her child, this time? She had to be enlisted in the Adopt a Mother program, Romula decided. Mrs. Gupta first encountered Parbuti through Nikhil, her son's friend. He dropped by one day when she was having a present packed for her grandson's birthday. He had come to tell them about Sini's Adopt a Mother program. adopted a mother through this program himself, he told them. And he was hoping that more people would do the same. Mrs. Gupta and her husband went through the literature carefully. They also asked Nikhil a lot of questions. His answers set Mrs. Gupta thinking. It wasn't as if money were a problem. One visit to Sini's health center at Poilan near Joka and their minds were made up. Not only by what they saw, but also by what Dr. Shomir Choudhury had to say. In this country, we have a major problem with the quality of life and health for children. Almost 60% of our children below the age of three years are suffering from various degrees of malnutrition. Now, the implications can be quite serious, both for the child as well as for the nation. In the child, that child, when deprived of proper nutrition and health care will grow up uh, deprived in both physical and mental health. And in terms of the nation, we will have millions of substandard citizens who will be contributing and adding on to our population. Now, the root causes of malnutrition can really be traced very early in life. In fact, from the time of conception uh, and during pregnancy, 
when the mother does not get adequate rest, she has access to very poor quality of food and health care. The child in her obviously will grow up very small. Consequently, we have one out of every three children being born with a low birth weight. So that is one sign of malnutrition. After delivery, the mother who is already malnourished may not be able to successfully breastfeed the child. And because the family is poor, the child will not have access to adequate solids from six months of age. And once the child starts crawling, the child will have infections. And because of this interaction between malnutrition and infection, the child becomes very weak. And you can imagine the consequences. It is well known from the scientific viewpoint that 80% of brain growth occurs within the first two years of life. So this again leads on to very poor quality of life, physically and mentally, for these children. Now, in Sini, we have been working for the relief and welfare of children for over 20 years. And our learning has been that we have to target the child specifically from conception, that is, encourage the family to give rest to the mother, provide enough food and health care so that there is enough growth during the pregnancy period and also motivate the family to take proper care of the child within the first two years. Now, this is the type of help that you would give to your own child. So that is why we want you to access this help to Sini so that we can provide this to the very poor families where we work. And child survival is the best contraceptive because when a mother sees her child being uh, properly brought up and also has proper access to food and health care, I do not think uh, she will be motivated to have another child because the child she has right now will live. Parbuti has come a long way today thanks to Sini's Adopt-A-Mother program. Here's good news at last. Parbuti has delivered a lovely girl child. Mother and daughter are doing fine. The baby's weight? Nearly seven pounds.